Hey y'all, what's up? It's Rocky P and welcome back to my channel. So, how are y'all today? I am Rocky P. I make easy, easy, easy natural hair videos and skincare and beauty related videos. So if you're interested in that type of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I know you're going to like this video and all my other ones. Make sure that you visit my description box for all the details regarding this video as well as the links to my social media pages. Go ahead and follow me on those sites. Okay, so we're back. We're back with a wash and go video. I asked y'all over on the ground what kind of video did y'all want to see? An updated twist out video or a wash and go? The twist out video won, but I really, really want to show y'all this wash and go just because it's so, so bomb. So here we are today. I do my wash and go with only three products. That's it. And it always comes out bomb. Like I finally have mastered it. So if you guys want to see exactly what I do, just keep on watching. Okay, so switch the angles up. So I'm starting on freshly washed hair. I actually washed it two days ago and I've just been letting it air dry. I just dipped my head back in the shower to re-wet it and you know, just really bring that water back into my hair. So that's my tip number one. I don't start on soaking wet hair because I'm gonna have the most shrinkage. If you want the wash and go to be big and voluminous, kind of start on damp hair. So my hair is damp, but it's pretty much as dried up right now. That's okay, we're gonna re-wet it some more with water. So y'all know, y'all already know, y'all already know, I start with sections. So we're gonna start with our back section first. And I'm just going to resaturate this section of my hair with some hot water. If you saw my last video, which was my Aztec clay mask, even when I was wetting my hair for the mask, I was using hot water. And that's because I have low porosity hair. If you have low porosity hair, if you're working with hot water on your hair, it's going to open up the cuticles to make the products that you're using go on and be more effective. We're just going to spray this down with some hot water. Okay, so now you want to moisturize. So first I'm going to apply some Uncle Funky Starter Midnight Train Leave-In Spray Conditioner. So I like using this leave-in spray because it's super light, doesn't weigh my hair down, and even though it's a leave-in, it works really well with my type 4 hair. Like, the moisture be there. So I'm just going to spray this all over. So now we're going to apply a creamy leave-in conditioner. It's not too thick, so it's going to be good. And this is the Main Choice Tropical Moringa Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Rinse Out or Leave-In Conditioner. So I use this as a leave-in conditioner because this stuff is expensive. Ain't nobody finna be rinsing this out. We finna get all the benefits of it. I just take about that much because it spreads and then apply that especially on my ends and as you can see my curls are kind of already defining themselves because they're moisturized so normally if I'm doing a twist out I would split this one big section into two sections and then work from there but we're, on, we're only going to work with one big section that way my curls stack evenly so we're going to just part a small section a small row at the bottom and you want to make sure that you're working with detangled hair so mine is pretty much detangled but just gonna comb it out a little bit Now I'm going to apply my curl stimulator, my new all-time fave curly hair gel for wash and goes. It's Uncle Funky Starter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. I don't want to call it a gel because it's not like super thick like a gel. So that's why I called it a curl stimulator. You about to see how defined my hair gets with the stimulator. So some of the ingredients that's in it include water, aloe vera juice, marshmallow extract, chamomile, agave nectar, 
yeah, that's just some of the great ingredients in this curly simulator. It's super lightweight and my curls are so like movable and I've never had that with a wash and go. So we're just going to take about that much starting with and just begin to rake through your section. But as you can see, I'm raking and trying to clump the curls together. And that's my first section. So now we're just going to go ahead and do the next. When you're working in your sections, try to keep them small so that way all your products can get on each strand of hair and you can get the most definition. And it's so slippery, so like, it really does glide on the hair so nicely. And that's my next section. So another tip, when you're doing your wash and goes, don't worry so much about the roots. Ain't nobody gonna see them, they're gonna shrink up. Like really focus on the ends of your hair. That's what people are mostly going to see. And you see, I clump my curls and then kind of like spread them out. And it's okay if you have to redo sections, like, girl, it's okay. I mean, you want your hair to come out, right? Okay, and that's another section. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of this section. Let me also say, if you're doing your hair and you feel like you already applied all your products and your hair still feels dry, add some more. Do not, if it feels dry, probably is. Add some more product to make sure that all your strands get coated. Like, don't sit here and be like, well, I don't want to waste product. You know your hair. Add some more products. Okay, so we got a back section done. Y'all can see how clumped and moisturized these curls are looking. And also my curls in the back are so, so much tighter than my curls in the front. I know I'm not the only master that's like that. But my YouTube fam, is y'all hair like that? Like, are your curls in the back tighter, thicker than the curls in the front? Let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, so it takes about 10 minutes to do one full section. So I'm just gonna go ahead and knock out my back sections and then as always I will meet y'all when I get back to the front of my head. Okay so I've made it to the front of my head. I got one more section to do and I'm just going to show y'all the process of it one more time. So I did think of another tip. So when you're doing your wash and go you want to make sure that you have products that aren't going to flake and be cakey and cause buildup or weigh your hair down. And these three products combined do not do any of that. My hair is still soft. There's still great hold, there's still good definition. If I preserve it correctly, I can wear this wash and go for a week. And so when you're choosing your wash and go products, make sure that they're lightweight. I know even if you have type 4 hair, you tend to gear more towards the thicker, creamier products, but that's going to do nothing but weigh your hair down. And I'm going to show you my wash and go has movement, sis. So we're going to do this last section. So it's still pretty damp because like I said, I wet it. So I'm just gonna dampen it, dampen it a little bit more. Okay, and we're just gonna take some of the Uncle Funky Starter Midnight Train Leave-In Spray. A leave-in spray that's lightweight, but still very effective. Now I'm gonna go in with a thicker leave-in, but not too thick. So like I said, I'm using the main choice, Tropical Moringa um, Sweet Oil and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. It doesn't weigh my hair down and 
even though I'm doing a wash and go, I still want my hair to be moisturized because we don't want no dry, crusty wash and go. Just gonna be tangled. Now I'm just gonna take from this large section just small rows. Add a little bit of leave-in or water to it to make sure that the curls are saturated and then we're going to apply Curly Magic. Alright y'all, so I've completed my entire head. But we're not done yet. So now the next step is to let your hair air dry for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then we're going to stretch it out. And we're going to be drying it with heat. I'm going to go busy myself, get some things done, and let it air dry for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then I'll be back to show y'all how I stretch it. So it has definitely been more than 20 to 30 minutes. I went and did my makeup. It's actually been a few hours. So my hair is like 95% dry. So now I'm gonna show y'all how I stretch my hair out and how I get the most out of a first day wash and go. So we are going to be using heat. So what you wanna have is a handy dandy blow dryer with a diffuser attachment so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scrunch my curls up which they're pretty much dry after we diffuse excuse me we're gonna go in with the concentrated nozzle and stretch out those roots so here's my before so let's go ahead and diffuse I put my blow dryer on low speed warm to high I kind of switch out Okay, like I said, my hair is pretty much dry. So now we're gonna take off our diffuser and we're going in with our concentrated nozzle to stretch out those roots. When you're stretching out your hair, don't stretch out the ends of your hair because that's where your curls are. You wanna stretch out those roots because that's what's gonna give you lift and volume. Hence the reason I was saying don't really focus on trying to get gel on your roots because we're gonna stretch it out. So this is the reason why. I'm just gonna kinda go section by section and just pretty much take my hair and stretch out my roots. Do y'all see the body? Do y'all see the movement? This is how I get a perfect wash and go every single time. I promise it does not take as long as it may seem. My hair is completely dry. My hair is movable and better yet is moisturized. It's not like dry feeling at all. There's no crunch on my hair and the shine unmatched. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, Please make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments that you're going to try this technique. I 
promise you I have done this multiple times now and it always comes out good so definitely let me know if you end up trying it of course make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you didn't at the beginning and me and my wash and go we'll see you later